this is Ryan and Kyle again from Tiny Backout Productions. This is day three of our video blog, and today we were supposed to come up with a title for you, and after extensive research and just hours of coming out with names and titles, some were good, some were bad, but we picked a perfect one, we finally figured it out. Now, I'm going to turn over to Kyle before we reveal the name. He is going to tell you all the reasons it's important to have a good title for your movie. Hi, this is Kyle from Time to Back Out Productions. We're here on our vlog entry day three. We're talking about titles today, okay? We spent the last two hours uh, coming up with a title and we should have been working on the outline. Uh, we thought we had to figure it out the other night and then I came and ruined it all and had a different idea. So um, what makes a good title, okay? It's a question that we just debated for the last two hours. And uh, here's what we came up with, and you can agree, disagree. Um, and I was actually just listening to the Indie Film Hustle, which is another podcast on the way here. And one of the things they said for indie filmmakers is that you need to come up with a title that draws people in just based on the title itself. So whether it's a phrase or a few words or maybe two words that don't quite go together, but it sounds interesting. So uh, what are some good titles out there? Shawshank Redemption is a good title. Um, Ex Machina, Pulp Fiction. Movies like that have great titles that you go, what's that movie about? I want to know more about that movie. Now, if you're making a movie with Brad Pitt or Leonardo DiCaprio, you can really title your film whatever you want because their name is going to be at the top of it and people will go see it. So uh, that's what we figured out for titles today. Now, the title we came up with for our film, and it's not going to make a whole lot of sense right now until we sort of get into the plot a little bit more with you guys, but it is called Replace Yourself. So uh, we, it sounds... Very simple, and it shouldn't have taken two hours to come up with, but it did, and that's what we ended up with. So uh, that's what we were working on today. Now, what I have for you today as far as some of the tech we're using, and it's not really a piece of tech, is my trusty Miriam Webster's Pocket Thesaurus. I think I bought it for like five bucks at Barnes & Noble. I realized that there is an app for this and that you can clearly go on your phone and use it, but just sort of having that little book available and flipping through just sort of uh, makes things go a little bit faster for us. So uh, again, settle on the title, replace yourself, and that's what we worked on today. Um, after we get done with this, we're actually gonna go back to our outline and hopefully finish act three, planning out our scenes, and move on from there. So uh, we'll keep you guys posted, and as always, visit our website, Twitter page, and all that good stuff for more updates. Well, there you have it. Replace yourself. And as you can see, I fucked up the first part again by turning the camera the wrong way, which Kyle pointed out to me, and I'm not fixing it because I don't care. Uh, let's quick go over some of the titles that we tried to do but got um, replaced. Uh, let's see, we had um, Himself versus Charlie. We had Retrospect, um, Destroy Yourself, um, Kramer versus Kramer, which was going to be Charlie versus Charlie. All things that could have been great. Charlie 2.0, right? That's the one we was talking about. Well, Charlie 1.0. Charlie 1.0? Yeah. yeah, they weren't... They were okay, but they weren't great. So, replace yourself. That's what we came up with. And that's what it's going to be for the rest of our lives. So, until day four. I don't know what we have in store for you for day four. That's going to be a bit from now. But, uh, but we promise it's going to be something average. not Nothing great, because... I made too many promises the last time we did this, and it almost backfired on me, so we're not going to do that again. So uh, until next time.